You got it. So much fusion. Front row at Huntington Beach for the Phillips Electronics U.S. Open of Surfing presented by Neuralco. Now, this is a WQS six-star event. Let me tell you, it's the biggest surfing event going off in the United States this summer, and we are here to bring it to you. What else would I want to be doing with my summer other than lounging in the sun, watching surfers, and they're hot, let me tell you. So that's what I'm going to do right now. You guys get back to the surfing. I'm going to enjoy the sun. <sighs> Huntington Beach, California, again played host to the country's biggest surf festival. This year's Phillips Electronics U.S. Open of Surfing presented by Naroko allowed for over 300 surfers to compete in the six-star WQS event. I think that the surfing is so much so much more well-rounded these days. It's not just going to be two people, you know, it's really anybody's game. And that's why it is kind of nice that it is a WQS event. It allows everybody to have a chance. With over $100,000 in prize money, and valuable World Tour qualifying points up for grabs, the U.S. Open has become a must-enter for many of the world's top surfers. Early round action saw many juniors and an international field of aspiring pros work the ranks for a shot into the first money round, the round of 64. My heat was uh, very, very small and uh, kind of was falling a lot. I don't know, I was just blessed to be able to get that last wave and the judges were generous. Other early round standouts included Huntington Beach pros Micah Byrne and Jeff Deppenbaugh. Surfing competitively out here for about eight years now and uh, had some good results and I'm just trying to, uh, you know, keep it going. Three-time world champ and former event winner Tom Curran proved early on that his connection with Huntington Beach was still magical. Serving in the early rounds of the contest, Tom won all four of his heats and advanced into the round of 32. It's good to have experience uh, surfing here, and I've been serving uh, contests in Huntington since San Jose, going back about 20 plus years. Last year's semifinalists Keith and Dan Malloy met each other in heat one of the round of 64, with Dan getting the better of the exchanges. We surf together quite a bit, and it's usually just really off and on, you know. He wins one, I'll win one, and I really don't, we don't like surfing against each other because we're not competitive, you know. We just, we like surfing, free surfing and having fun, and so when we compete, it's kind of like, you know, not really our deal, but, um, you know, it was fun. Noticeably a strong force to be reckoned with, the Brazilian contingency continued to take a liking to the Huntington Beach sandbar. Uh, such a great place, you know, I've been coming here for a, lo a lot of years, and I watch Tom Curran and Kelly Slater and, and all the guys here, Marco Quilupo, uh, doing so well here. It's a, such an important contest to, 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 to win and to hold in your for, forever, you know. Jesus for everything. And my last wave is pretty good, 8-5, and I win the heat. I'm very happy. The conditions through the round of 64 were less than favorable, forcing the competitors to be selective in their waves and their boards. It's really, really hard to find a good board. The guys out there, all my boards that I had take from Western Australia had never seen the work here, so I normally have a bit of a problem when I come here with my equipment. <laughs> all around and be good out here because you'll get a really steep outside section and you can do big turns. I mean, there's a left or a right and then you got to be able to do be smooth through the transitions and you get another jump section on the inside to do an error. So it's, you know, it's pretty much all around left, right, steep sections, mush. Fresh off a plan from Kauai, current world champ and last year's event winner Sonny Garcia was stoked to be back in Huntington and is feeling optimistic about his position on this year's world tour. Yeah, you know, there's four more events and you know, like I said, I mean, if we go into Hawaii and I got any shot, yeah, any shot at the world title going into sunset, um, I wouldn't bet against me.
Tune in all week as the South Swell fills in at Huntington Beach and the U.S. Open of Surfing goes off. up our first day here in Huntington Beach for Phillips Fusion. Tomorrow, make sure you tune in. We got more surfing. We got more skateboarding. We got the BMX guys. It's going to be great. And make sure you guys log on to our website at bluetorch.tv. You can even check out some photos of me and even load, download, download Rock Hard. Surf e AXN continua no North Shore, mostrando a força e a perfeição das ondas havaianas. A temporada das melhores e maiores ondas no North Shore se estende de novembro até o final de fevereiro, atraindo para a ilha todo tipo de surfistas vindos do mundo todo. O melhor tenista do mundo está aqui no Havaí, como é que é? Foi aventura, né, cara? E a adrenalina? Ah, deu pra sair daqui cabeça preta, a adrenalina lá em cima, deu um medão, deu, deu um porra. A sensação de dropar as ondas grandes foi absurda. uma semaninha aqui que lavou a alma. Outro destaque do North Shore são as esquerdas tubulares de Pipeline, onde acontece um dos principais eventos do circuito mundial, o Pipe Masters. That's Mr. Kelly Slater Gun Ride in the barrel and out of the barrel. A prova reúne os melhores surfistas do mundo, geralmente fechando o calendário das provas do ano e definindo o campeão mundial. Para muitos, poder surfar em pipeline com apenas mais dois surfistas dentro do mar já vale a passagem prova aí. Mundo Surf e Exen continua mostrando todo o clima e o astral contato.